churning tides of this transitional age have left me adrift in a sea of uncertainty, like a lone vessel navigating the ever-shifting waters of existence. The past, that once steady anchor, now lies shattered and buried beneath the relentless waves of time. It is a time of unraveling, of beginnings and endings, where the old world crumbles to dust, giving birth to the strange and unfamiliar. I find myself perched on the precipice of this new era, gazing out into a landscape transformed beyond recognition. The very fabric of our society, once stitched together by traditions and norms, has been torn asunder. In the wake of this upheaval, sexual norms have shifted like sand dunes, marriage and family structures have become mere shadows of their former selves, and the sacred tapestry of education and religion has unraveled before our very eyes. It is a world in constant flux, where the only certainty is change. And then there is the omnipresent spectre of technology, an ever-watchful sentinel that shapes our every move and permeates every aspect of modern life. It is both a boon and a bane, a force that connects us and yet isolates us in the same breath. Our relationship with technology is like a dance, a delicate waltz on the precipice of dependence and liberation. Amidst this maelstrom, the looming threat of nuclear weapons hangs like a Damocles sword, a constant reminder of the fragility of our existence. It's a chilling thought, the power to destroy entire civilizations with the push of a button always lurking in the background, casting a long and ominous shadow over our collective consciousness. To live sensitively in this transitional age is to tread a treacherous path, to navigate the labyrinthine corridors of change with courage and resilience. It demands that we grapple with the choices before us, decisions that will shape the course of our lives and the future of humanity. It is a call to action, a plea to embrace the unknown, to embrace the uncertainty, and to face the tempest head on. As I sit here, pen in hand, I am reminded that in the midst of chaos and upheaval, there is also the promise of rebirth. For every ending heralds a new beginning, and in this ever-shifting landscape I find solace in the belief that, with courage and conviction, we can forge a path toward a better future. The transitional age is a crucible, a testing ground for the human spirit, and I, like so many others, am determined to meet it head-on, with open eyes and an unwavering heart.